gets down. Well, we come to you today, uh, we've got so many things going on in our county, in our state, in our nation, Lord, uh, we know you still in control. Lord, I pray that you give us wisdom as a board here in this county to make the decision that would be pleasing to you. I pray that uh, you would comfort those that are bereaved. I pray especially for the family of Willie Curry and that loss. I pray for Kenny and uh, just pray for our county at this particular time. So just uh, thank you for all you do for us and we love you. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thanks, John. The Duke County Board of Supervisors met in a regular first of the month meeting in their boardroom at Duke County Courthouse on the first day of June 2020 at 10 a.m. Sheriff Jody Pennington opened the meeting as prescribed by law with the voice opening prayer. The president of the meeting included the following Kim Harris, President of the Board, Jack Johnson, Vice President, Charles Bowles, and Charles Godfrey. Joe Alexander was absent. George Hayes, clerk of the board, Jason Langham, board attorney, and Steve Zale, county administrator, were also present. And the Eagles, Turkey Creek Water Park director, uh, request board to participate in July 4th activity. Charles Godwin made a motion. Charles Knowles was a second the motion to advertise county resources in the Turkey, the Turkey Creek Water Park. Fourth of July activities. The county will participate in the amount of $500. The motion carried unanimously. Charles Moulds made a motion. Jack Johnson voiced a second to the motion to approve the May 21st, 2020 minutes as corrected. The motion carried unanimously. Jack Johnson made a motion. Charles Moulds voiced a second to the motion to approve the docket as presented and recommended by the Comptroller. The motion carried unanimously. Charles Bowles made a motion. Charles Godwin voiced second to the motion to renew the contract with the Mississippi Association of Supervisors and Gulf Guarantee. The initial term of the contract will be for one year with automatic renewals unless a 60-day notice is received. The RX claims processing remains 15%. Medical claim processing increases from 5 to 7.5%. Effective July 1st, 2020. The motion carried unanimously. That should say for in the medical. After a lengthy discussion with Butler Snow, Attorney Parker Berry, the board decided to proceed with the adoption of $5 million G no road and bridge bond resolution and advertised for bids. Kim Harris made a motion to Alexander by phone after approval for the rest of the board voiced the second to the motion to approve resolution prepared by Butler Snow for $5 million GO road and bridge bond. Advertised for bids for the same. The motion carried unanimously. Though Robbie Richardson reported to the board that the governor had relaxed restrictions on COVID-19, the board requested emergency management to continue checking temperature of visitors coming into the courthouse. The board was also advised that the EMA F-550 diesel truck needed to have upper oil pump replaced and that Hope Boy Shop would be repairing the truck at the cost of $3,356. Noted May Bender, Newton County Tax Assessor, met with the board concerning the ESCO Corporation's request for extension on new construction and equipment. Kenneth Harris made a motion. Charles Godman voiced a second to the motion to grant ESCO exemption request for five years. ESCO Group, Ware Group, has increased employees from 243 in 2015 to 408 in 2019. The true value of the exempted amount is $3,255,552.52. The motion carried unanimously. Noted a security barrier across the tax office counter will be installed. Charles Moulds made a motion. Jack Johnson voiced the second promotion to recess until June 18, 2020 at 9 a.m. Motion carried unanimously. Thank you, Steve. Now, to listen to the reading of the minutes, we have the corrections on page one. Kenny, this is, if I could, this is just a question. George has got me absent up here, then later on when we voted on the bond, he put it on as a phone. Would that be all right like that, Jason? Or is he, how does it? No, we need to, we need to have it one way or the other. Yeah, so I mean, what, what we need to do there to fix that? 
Doesn't it say that you were approved to call in? Yeah, it does down on the GNO. But it's showing I wasn't present at all up here, so I mean. Well, you were the rest for the rest of the meeting. Okay. But it's okay like it is. Right. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's going to be fine. I mean, he was absent at, at the beginning of the meeting. Um, and just like he would have entered the meeting, he would have uh, entered the meeting via the telephone call after approved by the board. And, uh, and he wrote pursuant to that, so there's nothing wrong with it. Any more corrections on page one? Yeah, so there's nothing wrong with it. Page two? Yeah, on page two. No correction, we'll get a motion to accept these. I move. Thank you. All in favor? Joe, do you want to see us? Yes, sir. We're doing all right, sir. Good, yeah. Um, you can see everybody back with the foot. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, I don't have the two things. Yeah, except for Joe. I don't have the two things. Uh, I need the board to approve the max bounds going to the police academy. It goes to Maloto.
should have more inmates. And now, grand jury, they set it for July the 14th. So that's a lot better because they continued three times since COVID hit. Uh, as soon as we get some more inmates, we will. There. I know what you're saying. I know what you're, I know what you're asking. I think there may be one more that I can put also with the road crew. And hopefully by the time court comes around, we will have a second man for the uh, trash pickup also. All right. That's it. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
at Harrison reimbursed the county $24,700 for the Hopewell Road, uh, $5,000 for the Beaver Program. The district also approved participation 50% up to $25,000 on the Turkey Creek Road project. We got some veterinarian certificates. Uh, county road crews were on Jerry Garrison's property at 1528 Newton Calhoun to bury a uh, mule. Albert Pinkston's property at 2454 Highway 489 bury a horse. And Blaine Horton's property at 988 Michael Haney Road to bury a cow. Uh, we got all of those certificates. We'll put in the middle. I need a motion to declare the bill from Horton's A1 Plumbing on May 29th for $750 to be declared emergency purchase. The sewer backed up the 911 office over the weekend. The plumber had to be called immediately. So moved. Sorry. All in favor. Harold Holloway did all of the work on all of the counters. He is asked if we could go ahead and pay him, um, if you would, approve a special docket to H&H &H Construction for $12,600. Special docket, you don't want to? what? Special docket. Yeah, special docket. Can we get a motion to have to pay? I'll make it move. Well, that's something we owe him already. He just wants him to check. No. Yeah. Okay. So, he's finished this project. All in favor? I need a motion to remove Carl Walters as assistant receiving clerk for the sheriff and to appoint Paul Lambert as his replacement, to remove Paul Lambert as receiving clerk for landfill and to appoint Cindy Horton as his replacement and to remove Cindy Horton as requisition clerk at the landfill. Can't, can't be requisition clerk and receiving clerk. Is this the one of the, one of the guys quit out there or something? Yeah. Well, he left to go up to jail. He's all, all the prison. The guy, Carl Walters, quit with the jail. So. Could we get a monster to that effect? So moved. Second. 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 All in favor? I need a motion to approve the closeout worksheet on JAG grant. 18LB1510. What did that do? It's where uh, Jody bought, I think it was some radios for $3,500. They spent the money and now we got to close out the money. That's all it is. I'll make that motion. Okay. Your justice assistance. Yeah, you should go back and Bobby Pino's. All in favor? I can now say about that. Because you all look contagious. <laughs> I can't hear you. I'm going to get a microphone. I'm not emotional. I'm going to get a microphone. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> hey, can I go back to that place? Is it the right of the city of what was it? In regard to the changes at the landfill, with, with, with Cindy working out there part, part of the time, is he really going to need to replace that part time employee? He said he was not replacing the one that just quit. So Cindy, Cindy would be filling that spot, I'm saying. Friday, July 3rd has been declared holiday by the governor in observance of Independence Day. County offices will be closed. LSBP 5115 State Aid Road has approved that. That's Pine Ridge Road. And what, what was that project on Pine Ridge Road? The two bridge. That's the road built up by your bar, right? So they have pretty rich of that. Yeah, I know. You can't make it up. <coughs> we got the iron road to read the bridge there. 
take care of that. This is massive battle. <coughs> All the state, I think. 8 through 10. Well, they just, they just canceled him and hell. That's actually 10 through, you know, that's the thing. 10 through 14. Is it 10 through 14? Yeah. They sent off. 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 He's a free attorney. He serves on the master's insurance. So I'll go with him. Uh, I'm going to read the names off. We need to pick six of them. You need to pick six of them. Okay, these are the nominees that, well, the candidates that's going to, I guess, be running it in this week. I don't know that they some convention. Yes. Uh, Fred Banks, Warren County, Robert Graham, Hines County. Curtis Gray, Jasper County, James Griffin, Ben County, David Hogan's, Forest County, Perry Hood, Pike County, Deborah Mabry, Home County, Troy Ross, Jackson County, Bobby Rushman, Jeff Davidson County. So, so we need to vote for how many out of that list? We need to vote for six. Curtis Gray. Curtis called. Uh, well, I got an email text from him. And he wanted y'all support. He got it. His dad passed. Really? I don't know what it is. Yeah, I don't know So that's the first time I'm going to Perry. Perry. Perry Hood, he has been in the high county and so fine for a long time. He served on this place for me. Is he a gold member now? I know. I think he is. I think so too. I suggest him. Okay, Perry Hood, Curtis Gray. William Banks, he's uh he's from Warren County. I know all these folks. You know David Hogan, the big guy from small guy from Forest County. He's mm -hmm. board with uh, yeah. the president this year. That's right. Go go with David. Sure. I'm going with him. Yeah, he's with Chris. Yeah, mm -hmm. Chris Bowden. James Griffin, he's from uh, right at the Memphis line, Tennessee line. Uh so again. Uh, no, he's in Bend County. Oh, no, no. Yeah, he's on the other side. <coughs> Deborah Mabry, she's from Home County. She's the, the lady that loves to talk. Don't talk about me. She just got to be Deborah Mabry. Bobby Russell from Jeff Davis County. I think he's the one to hell out of when I was talking to scholarships application before they go to the groups. I say Bobby. Bobby Russell. How many is that? Four oh, more. That's four. We need two more. Robert Graham, he's with the Hine County uh, Board of Supervisors. He's, uh, he has a, a farm that deals with sexual harassment. He's been there for a hundred years. Do that in the county guy. That's all right. Need one more. I don't know Charles Ross from Jackson County. They need to put your pictures on there so we're going to vote for a picture. I know it's a picture. Associate the name of the picture. Yeah. We, we need Thank one you. more. We have we have William Banks, Warren County. We have Robert Brown, Hines County, Left, mm -hmm. Deborah Mabry, and Troy Jackson. Who's in Hines County? Uh, Robert Brown. Serving with the ex House Representative Free Day Academy. That's their way. They're all the same. Well, he likes to be on something new, too. You know, I like people that like to do that stuff, they need to do it. So, everybody that might have something you, you could either vote by proxy or one of you can turn it in at the meeting. If you vote by proxy, everybody's got to sign. Well, we might not have them. We're going to have them. We're going to have them. We're going to We know our vote counts. Give me, give me a pen. Is that a pen or what? I got it. I'm going to burn some of these pens.
something done to his deed and when they did it they used the address when he bought the house I guess the attorney that did it already had the stuff in the computer and so the address got changed to Arizona which was where he was when he bought when the deeds changed his name so when that address came through and we made the correction we deleted his homestead because it's Arizona because it was Arizona that was, that's, that's no problem to him that's on me but he's actually living at this address. He lives at this address right here. Yes. So, I mean, that's, that's, I just want to make that clear. There was nothing he did. Hickory. Okay. 
uh, in City Hill. Yeah, that's Robert. Robert. Uh, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Well, I reckon I'm old. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah September. Three more. Right. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. Anyway, that that that's on me. Yeah, he's definitely living there. I yeah. see him every time we go back. Yeah, you got the monsters up there. Yeah. <laughs> now, now we made that collection. And, and he's also a, a veteran, too. So. Did you give West my message? I did not. I hadn't talked to him, though. I mean, he called the other day because he was questioning. And we started our round of yes. 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 We finished this now. He finished. Should be, because I talked to him. He didn't like the boat. We, we, we had it. Personal property, we got a little bit to go on it because we make some changes. It's going to the East Coast. We got to go on it. It's going to go on it. It's going to go on it. Do we have any comments or questions on what makes this scale? Move it, sir. All in favor. Um, thanks for the work that has been done in my office. Uh, Parish will come back. I got some things, some other things I'm going to, to work on for me. Uh, he is, I knew he fit me in to the situation that was going on, so I didn't push the issue, but he, he knows he needs to come back. Look at some other stuff. Um, also, I got some. When you finish, come by my office before you leave. I got some questions on uh, solid waste I need We we have a customer in there that's got like who cools the credit. How many credits? credits? I don't know where it came. I mean it doesn't show anything, it just shows he's got like 14, 15 home credit. I ain't credit. That's what I don't know. I don't I don't know. You don't get credits unless you open. No, no we reimburse if somebody open page. No. I don't know, but I, I have not talked to Cindy. I talked to three reps. She couldn't tell me. Okay, I'll stop that. Okay. The guy, did he bring that paper? He did. He did. And he's going to get some credit, but he still owes some of it too. Okay. It's going to be about $200 for it. Well, because he's working at the yeah, it's gonna make some changes in this thing. But what he bought me before, it just showed the day that he went yeah, out. It didn't show anything. 2016. Yet. Right. What are you doing anything to keep up with money that you are collecting that's outstanding money? In other words, can you will you be able to come back in here in six months and tell us how much money that you collected from the old bill? This is gonna show total. It's just gonna show total. I guess right along my question is, is there any way we can know if we accomplished anything? How, how are we going to know if we accomplished anything? It's the wrong program. I don't know what we're collecting, but I have no idea. You know what I'm asking. Mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of that's going to be on, on an aging account, and they'll probably be able to tell you how much, what the starting aging account number was versus what it is now. But, well, I know, May, if I remember right, the first six months you had it, you gained like 60 or 70 dollars. And that was when we were only collecting the Yeah, the you gained 60 or 70 dollars. Like that. That's the <coughs> You would think about that and count the Well, does it, what, does it print out like each other, the agent report at the end of the month? I don't have, we don't run reports. That's, we don't run that's reports. See if they do that and like say, oh, you would do that and compare it one month to the next. If you don't mind, it'd be good to have a See if we have a tactic to be done in the conference. I will probably see what they're okay. doing. Okay. Okay. Yes, All right. Thanks, Thank And y'all are cool down there right at the moment. We are. Darn's head's not working, but it's working. It's not working. It's working. It's working. It's working. It's working. It's working. Yeah, <laughs> it's way too hard to make a wall. Y'all have a good one. Thank you. You doing okay? Good. Oh, God, that's going to be nice. We wait.
Hey, we're trying to do that. We're on. There you go. All right. of the uh, bidder, and I'll spread, go through what, you know, the premium, if any, to pay a little bit more for the bonds, you know, the gross interest costs, and then the interest rate. Okay. <coughs> so, our first bidder is Duncan Williams. Okay. They're out of Memphis. Uh, their premium is zero. Their gross interest cost is one million two hundred sixty-eight thousand seven hundred seventy-four dollars and seventy-nine cents. And that's their net interest cost also. Their average interest rate for the 20 years is 2.18250. Two point one eight two five zero five. They've submitted their check. You can name right there. They're on late. That's just good. They just lost it. That's good, guys. Yeah, that's it right there. I've got the check. That's $100,000 right here. They got the check. Good thing. Yes, sir. I'll put me for it. Sign it up. I can't do that? No. <laughs> I'll let Jason do that. Second bid. Second bid is from FHN Financial Capital Markets. They used to be First Tennessee. Uh, they're in Memphis too. They're out in Memphis also. At least they have an office in Memphis. Uh, their bid is. Let's see what I'll just do. Uh, they have a thirty thousand thirty one dollar and ninety cent premium in there. Uh, their, their net interest cost over the life of the bonds, so this is what you really want to write down, is one million two seven five eight nine two eighty nine cents. That means they will be with two point one eight. That's right. And to that point. Their net interest rate, average net interest rate, is 2.194749. Mm. Y'all clearly have better credit than I do. Couldn't get that on the mortgage. Oh, and here's a good faith check. Everything was properly submitted. Yeah. 
Dunkleweeds is the lowest at 2.182505. Um, Mr. President, if y'all will take this under advisement, I'll go out there and I'm going to verify the bids and I'll try to get y'all an average what it's going to cost a year for your average payment figured out and um, come back with a resolution for y'all to the bid. So, so that's all in favor? Under advisement. Thank y'all. We'll get back in a little bit.
come across there. No, at least they don't hurt. Come all the way out down there by the blue side of the line. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, you do it how you will. Most people are not going to go that far. But hopefully it's going to be a quick process. I'm going to solve it. I'm going to solve it. And uh, instead of just working it up, I'm going to get a solve from the Ivy. And I'm going to go ahead and solve it. And pull it out and get the down. I figure less than half a day. It's three foot. Yeah, just three foot. Three foot. Concrete. You put the three foot plastic or or uh, on the back wall. Um, it's not. I, I didn't want to join it plastic, so I just aluminum. I didn't want. It. Well, if you let me know that ahead of time, we may bring bring machine by machine. Ain't two miles over or escalator. We'll help you whatever we need to. But anyway, here are all of them. That's a note. So we can't from that time talk about. It. Maybe that uh, he probably tell us more about that than I can. Sorry? Cause of death with the cover. Uh yeah, uh, from uh, from what we understand, uh, let me pull up the Brent actually talked with uh, uh, Chief Patrick this morning and got an update on that. So bear with me just one second. <clears throat> oh yeah, he uh, they, they have the autopsy results. Uh, was ruled natural causes. Um, said he got in an argument or some sort of altercation earlier in the day, and they're thinking that the stress of that caused him to have a heart attack. I don't care what the autopsy shows, we lost a good man. A great man and a good employee for New County. And he'll be here for a long time and won't be replaced. People need to realize that. But what's going on in this country? Something like this kind of brings you back to reality, in my opinion. Yep. Oh, yes, oh, yes. Yeah, well. Just on this white one made to 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 speak very strong on the wall. And it falls to the wall. Oh, it's not. We can't kind of hold for me to do. Mm -hmm. But I do.
said, you know, the bridge were repaired. It still scheduled to be replaced. That would be money we can put back in. Yeah, but that would be money, but can I wait and make sure it passes? I mean, this is not going to Yeah, you got time. Because the river's at the point we fix and start again. You got half of it done, you got to do the other half of the river space down. It's just not going to happen. You got to do something like that. But it's working out? <clears throat> I don't reckon. No. It's working. It's serious. It's probably going to be more than we need it done. It's there. Probably going to be done at the J.O. Yeah, that's what I think that's what Charles trying to get to. Yeah. Whether it be road, reseal, or bridge, we just want to make sure at the end of the state eight, 1.9, 2.1, 6. whatever it is, it's a moving target. We want to make sure that every beat gets their share. But you was carrying it a step forward and saying you didn't want to do something with my money if state aid was going to come back. I understand. And going right. back to what Charles, I think, was alluding to, and I may be wrong, mm -hmm. but maybe talking two different things. Dwayne and I had talked about the Newton Buffalo Road, what we were going to do, our plan to do, the Pat Harrison project, putting in 48 foot cuts to replace the old rail car bridge. Dwayne said it could take that because it is a state aid road. But it's never been any money spent on it to bring the road up to state age fast. I could take it off of state age road, apply for the LSBP money that we supposedly are going to spend on two bridges over on this side and use that money to build a bridge instead of putting three coats. Does that make any sense? That's that's yeah. what he told me to. But yeah, that's what he's saying. That, that's LSBP money. You think it's a local bridge system money? Local state and bridge. I don't know. Not, not. Now, that was the conversation he had with me. Yeah, well, but, and the way I also said they was going to come back later and give us some more LSBP money because we spent it. But you ain't seen it in the bank, so. No, you can't spend what you don't have. Believe We just need to have a work session or something here in the next week or two so we know for it. Well, I think we need to wait in the air and nail down what we're definitely going to get or what we well, says. I honestly think he can. Because mm -hmm. I think, you know, if we were projecting 2.8, but like you said, there was one place in that sheet in with a different amount. Now, he secured all that other, but that wasn't old 2.8. We hope it's some excess there. It was more like 1.8, wasn't it? Yeah. For, for four years. Oh. Well, that's what I'm saying. If he could tell us, well, I guess you're right. Since every time, every time state aid sends him a printout, it's a different number on it. Well, that's not what we're going to do. He could get us closer to mm -hmm. know, I think, we're. Well, no, he keeps talking about like this mystery money that they're going to give us at the end until we use ours. Who knows how much that is. We're probably enough spending what we got. Plus, or at the end of from there. Is he still in the hospital? No, he's out. I had talked to him. Yeah, got out last. Well, I didn't even know he was in the hospital. What was his name? Clip up some of his toes. He's very pretty sick. He told me he had an infection. That I met. Why should we? Thomas, y'all still rolling? Mm -hmm. No. I know probably he's just. Well, I'm going to think I would make it. Thomas, you going gonna, to you gonna introduce your, your helper today? Oh. Yeah, this is uh, uh, Paris Payne. She's our intern. She's uh, helped us out for the summer. Uh, she's from Newton. Um, recently graduated from Old Miss in broadcast journalism, and yeah, she's going to be our, working with us for the summer, and then um, I guess the plan is to go to law school in the fall. Thank you, Greg. So we verify.
verified bids for GO bond. Uh, the re winning bid, the lowest and best bid, is Duncan Williams at 2.182505. That is an, um, you've got a, um, sorry, the annual payment's going to be about 312000 on that. So just to give y'all ballpark, we'll get an AM schedule. They'll run an amortization schedule for y'all, and I'll get that to see. And um, so just FYI, we've got a resolution here. And um, for, to, for to award the bid to Duncan Williams. Um, so this And um, with that, this is a 20 year. Yes, it's a 20 year deal. And it's been paid off for 10 years. Right, you can, you can pay it off. You do not have an amortization ready. Uh, it's about 312. That's the rough calculation. I don't have it with me, but I'll get it as soon as you do it. Right. And uh, I'll get that as soon as I can. And uh, the, in fact, I mean, let's see if you can shoot angle on email. First payment starts July 21. Yes. So you're asking about paying it off. So there's, you can do, uh, these bonds are redeemable in 2029. That's the earliest June, July 1st. Now, there's what's called advanced refundings, which means you refinance them. And uh, you can do that and get lower rates, but my gosh, y'all rates. Um, I've, been, I've been waiting to see what this rate was because we sold 15 years at 172 last week on the 20 year would be. And um, that, yeah, that was. And, uh, so, so in any event, uh, we'll, we're, we've, we've got going through the validation process for these bonds. That, that'll be through in a couple weeks, and at that point we can close. So we'll, you'll have your money June 30th. Do you um, know what, what the actual amount we will receive out of the It'll be the whole $5 million. Minus, so there you go, minus $100,000. Yeah. Yeah. So you'll, they'll send you okay. on June 30th. $1,900,000. Right. This is their friend. That's correct. I'll invite the chair. Any other questions? Now well, let me let me mention this to y'all because that's a good that's a good point. You didn't really mean it like this, but oh, yes, probably you probably have spent money. <laughs> I mean, so y'all can spend reimburse yourself for things that you've spent sixty days prior to the. And I have to go back and look at the resolution. In the right, sixty days prior to the date we adopted, we started this process. So. Was that we did a reimbursement resolution in there. So now it was, was it February or April or March? I can't remember exactly when we started the resolution in 10 March. Was it just March? I think it was March. Oh, it was March. So just FYI on that, because I know. And this can be used for materials and equipment. Yes, sir. Isn't that all? But it's not Street operating. Yeah, yeah no, no, no operate. That is a big deal. No payroll. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is not for operating costs. It's for it is for capital improvements. So now I'm just making a motion. We just move this number. But I do know we can so I asked this yesterday with I know y'all couldn't hear me good on the phone last week. I think Steve, you you help me on this. I think we put all of our user tax in that one fund and at the end of four years we should have a good bit of money in that account that if a beach wants to borrow from it would be a loan. Even though we own the money is our five and then it, at 10 years whoever sitting in beach because none of us may be here in another 20 minutes can decide if they if they loan a twenty thousand out and get somebody out of tight, they might have to pay it back just like they would if you go stay from from beat to beat and whatever. And then it would secure that this loan to be paid in full at ten if that's what they decide to do or they could just 
keep adding to that fund and when they paid it off at the end of the 20 years, then whoever sits at this table then might have three or four million dollars that they can put back into the room at that time. Does that need to be a separate motion? No motion? Well, that's not even That's not a deal with the last year. Once you see the numbers. Mm -hmm. Okay. No more discussion? I'll start the motion. All, you have. All in favor? Opposed? Thank y'all. Thank you. Thank y'all so much. See you soon. Good to see you guys. Thank you all. Appreciate it. Thank you. 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 Thank you.